yeah welcome again guys to g squared academy yeah you know excellence is always epitomized here and we always try to help you guys out in whatever way we can you know what i mean um so i was talking to some students the other day you know um they had their exams coming up um their mock exams and i was talking to them they asked me for some advice and you know how to do the exam so i asked them do you have an exam strategy you know what i mean because you're going into an exam you need to have a strategy but this is not something that is normally discussed with students that they should have an exam strategy so anyway they didn't have a clue what i was talking about they didn't have one clearly because they didn't know what i was talking about in terms of an exam strategy so i proceeded to explain to them you know some of the things that they would need to do during an exam yeah you have prepared for your exam and stuff but when you actually go into the exam what do you actually do and then you know i started reminiscing on a time that i did an exam you know i had a two hour exam and uh, i had four questions to answer within that two hours i know i went into the exam and i looked through the paper and there was nothing that i could do in my head there was nothing that i could do you know and so i got flustered i got you know thrown off and i spent one hour and 15 minutes there about doing one question and i didn't maximize the marks you know and uh, you know i had to just stop and settle and reset myself and start working again and i did finish the exam give thanks to the father almighty you know that i did finish the exam but it it taught me that i must have an exam strategy i must have a way that when i go into my exam i'm going into pass and i'm going to do certain things you know so um, I'm just gonna do this video I'm doing this video for those people who do not have an exam strategy it doesn't matter if you are doing a simple exam for primary school or your high school exam or you are doing or you're doing a university exam entrance exam no matter what type of exam you're doing these strategies can help you and I hope you will find them helpful as well so anyway the number one thing that i found out that you you can do when you're doing your exam is that you have to maximize your marks you must maximize your marks and how do you do this i, I tell you maximize your marks but you may not know exactly what i'm talking about by that so when i say maximize your marks all i'm saying you need to do is when you go in the exam do the questions that you know first don't bother try to do hard questions first look through the paper and you say okay you know i can do these questions these questions i can maximize those marks i prepared myself for those ones or i'm well prepared for those do those questions maximize the marks when you do that now you would have secured some marks and then you can box around with the others because there will be questions that you just don't know what how to do exactly and you're gonna just you know feel for it and and box around with it so do the questions that you can maximize first maximize the marks if it's 25 marks for the question do that question collect those 25 marks and then when you finish collecting those 25 marks you're then going to move to um your next question all right then i would say from my experience the second thing is do the difficult questions last so it's five things i'm gonna tell you about really so you're gonna do the difficult questions last don't go in the exam and, and pick up the difficult questions first why you are gonna start doing that question you're gonna have difficulty and then you're gonna get frustrated you're gonna get angry you're gonna get upset and then you're gonna get nervous you're gonna feel like you don't know anything and that's just gonna throw off your entire exam so do the difficult questions last you know do those questions that you know you really don't know much about and you're gonna struggle with them do those last so that you would have secured marks based on the first point that i made um before and then now these you just you try to get as much as you can from those right so you do the difficult questions last so number one you maximize the marks number two you do your difficult questions last you know you don't have to necessarily follow this strategy but it works i find the next thing um, students tend to do, you know, is that they tend to race. Exams are not a race, really. If you have your strategy and follow your strategy, you'll finish in time. And you don't feel, don't feel uncomfortable or don't feel, let me just say dumb or stupid. If you see other people getting up out of the exam, um, finish their exam early and stuff like that. Don't worry about them. You're, it's not a competition with them necessarily, you know. 
you're there to do your exam you're following your strategy you're working on your paper not because they get up that means that they're bright and it don't mean that they're dumb either it could be simply mean that they just don't know anything to answer the questions on the paper so it doesn't even make sense they sit in the exam for two hours not knowing anything or it could very well mean that they're bright you know and so they they're um, uh, leaving the exam early because they've answered everything but it's not a race take your time go through the paper and this is why you have to practice questions before you go practice sitting the exam a mock exam so to speak you know so you can see how well you work how fast you work so practice before you go to the exam so that when you get to the exam you can pace yourself properly the pace of John Brown beside you is not your pace so you don't have to work at their pace um, necessarily work at your own pace all right so that's number three and remember it's just five points we're talking about so number quality versus quantity so number four is quality versus quantity students I don't know it I guess it's just how how students are they tend to want to write as much as they can because they think that the examiner is gonna look at it and say hey this student knows a lot so let's give them the mark it doesn't work like that you know it doesn't it really does not work like that your examiner is looking for quality work it's the information that you're providing is it quality information or is it just a run around story it's a waste of time especially if you write three lines and you get your six marks done for you to go write 20 lines and you get none because what you've written in those 20 lines does not answer the question does not provide any meat for the answer for the question go in your exam and simply answer the questions that you are being asked to answer okay so remember always remember quality over final point um my final point prep for your last exam first no i you know i i found this out when i went to university you know I, um it's it's really difficult i had to learn these things on my own nobody ever told me any of these things you know prep for your last exam first what do i mean by that no normal exam bodies they have like um three weeks of exam for for like big exams like c second cape you're gonna get almost like a month or a month and a half of exam but then you have eight subjects to do or you have six courses to do and you have three weeks of exam but yet still you have like four exam in three days or you have like five exam in three days sorry where you have two exam in one day another the next day and one in the evening again and you're like people come on seriously you have three weeks of exam or a month and a half of exam and you pack up four exams in such close proximity to each other i don't know it, it always happens and you know you can comment if you agree or you disagree about that um or if that's your experience in terms of exam bodies that they bunch up the exams together and so when you're faced with a situation like that where you have three or four exams close together i would advise that you prepare for the last exam first you prepare for the last exam first so you're going to allocate time and you prepare for the last exam and then you start preparing for the third the second to last exam and then the the third to last exam and then the first exam you have so you prepare for the last exam first and why do i say that you see coming up to your first exam you're going to want to focus more on that exam but then if you did no work for the last or the second exam in your preparation time when you get to your first exam and you do that one you're not going to have that much time to prepare for the next one so you're going to find that you have so much information to cover but you don't have a lot of time to cover it in and this is why i say to you prepare for the last exam first when you would have prepared for the last exam first when you get when you finish that first exam and you're going to prepare for the second exam now you would have done some work already on that exam in preparation for that exam so you would have done some work you'd have put in some work and then when you finish the second exam and you go into your third exam it's the same thing again you would have done some work so the little time that you have to prepare for that third exam is not that little at all because you did some work prior to that so this is why i advise prepare for your last exam first the last exam that you have prepare for that one first then the second to last then the third to last then the first exam and so that way i believe um you're able you're able then to do well in your exams 
all right so i'm hoping that you guys find this helpful i hope that when you're preparing for your exams you prepare for them properly i hope that when you're going into your exam you you follow the strategy and if you follow this strategy and it works just come back to this video send me a comment let me know that it works you know because we want to know that these things work and we're not just preaching something that really doesn't work it has worked for me i want to know that it works for you as well so i hope you find this helpful and uh, i wish you all your best all the best in your upcoming exams please share the video like the video subscribe to my channel hit the bell notifications for when i post a new video you know like and subscribe like and subscribe as i said before again and thank you for watching and uh, i will see you next time all the best in your exams